Kage giving his toy for food is exactly why Ranking of Kings is one of the best anime that I've ever seen. So this is going to contain spoilers. It's not super important to the plot, but just so you know, it's a spoiler. So Kage is from the Shadow Clan, a clan that was exterminated. And we get to see in his backstory how his parents specifically were exterminated. And it's a very, very sad memory. It's a very, very sad backstory. You see that these are good people. They're in a family. They love each other. And for whatever reason, whether people actually thought that they were bad or they just wanted to get rid of them, they exterminate these people, the Shadow Clan, and only Kage is left. And so we're watching a young Kage. And I think it's important because we were introduced to him as a young adult or maybe a teenager. It's not really for sure, but in, the, in this flashback, he is 100% a child. And all he has is his toy. And he's going around and nobody is showing him kindness because everyone seems to think that these, this clan is a bad clan. And it's just heartbreaking to see. It's so sad. But then you start to see that he's hungry. He's starting to become more and more hungry. He hasn't eaten. He has no way to provide for himself because he's just a child. And eventually you see him stop and deliberate what he has to do. Now this is the part where I realized that Ranking of the Kings is not like other anime. It's next level. It's next level storytelling. Also the music in this moment is so good. It's so good. But he looks at his toy, which is his most valuable possession. Now you got to remember, at this time he's just a child. And he looks at this toy and he thinks, what do I have that's of value? And the only thing that he has of value is this toy to him. Because in his mind, this is his most valuable possession. And so he starts to go to people and he says, hey, I will trade you this toy for some food. Now, if you don't get right there why that's an absolutely heartbreaking moment, then I don't, it, I don't know if it's going to, whatever else I say, but for me, fully being understanding that that's a child, and, and, and then with a child's mind, he's thinking, I'll trade you something of value so that I can eat. It's a heartbreaking thing to think that maybe that might really happen in real life. The thought of that really happening in real life. And everyone's looking at him like, are you crazy? I don't want a toy. Look, get, get out of here. It's just a toy. And ultimately, he ends up having to steal. But he's not stealing because... When he gets the food, he leaves the toy. He's not trying to be bad. He's not trying to steal. He's just trying to survive. And they catch him and they beat him. And he's lost his toy. He's lost, you know, an innocence to him. And it's absolutely one of the most heartbreaking scenes I've ever seen. And these type of moments, this is just a side moment. And these type of moments is why Ranking of the King 